Your commentary comes from Clive Tilsley. This is the Arsenal team that isn't playing. Virtually the side that has taken them to the top of the Premiership this season. So this is the Arsenal reserve team. Only Lee Dixon of tonight's lineup has been a regular of late. Half a dozen of them make their full debuts for the club. Seven of them are aged 22 or younger. Even David Platt is starting an Arsenal match for the first time this season. And there are two more teenage rookies on the bench. If you think Ian Wright may be secretly looking to add to his record tally under an assumed name, well, look again. His place tonight goes to his Portuguese lookalike, Luis Bormorte. And if you thought England's glorious weekend was confined to the Italian jobs, Matthew Upson here captained the national under-18 team to a 4-0 win in Yugoslavia. Birmingham City have had only two days to recover from a bitter and bruising local derby with Wolves. They make four changes. Paul Furlong was a late cry-off with groin trouble. Recalls then for Darren Wassell, Steve Robinson, Chris Holland and Peter Unlove, who partners leading scorer Paul Devlin in attack. Uri Reddy is the man in charge. It's 40 years this week since Birmingham City last won at Highbury. Maybe they'll never have a better chance. Maybe Arsenal's multi-million, multinational squad runs deep enough to protect their unbeaten record in domestic football this season. One or two introductions to make to you in the opening stages. This is Upson. And here's the skipper for the night, Lee Dixon. Working the right flank, number 23 is Alberto Mendes. And this is Grimondi, the Frenchman. And this is Unlove given away to Mendes. Now Stephen Hughes, who is in the England under-21 side, which won in Italy on Friday for Morty's run, halted by Bruce. Ray fouled by Bruce. Mendes. Ray to get kick off. Hughes. Upson managing to force his way past Tony Hay. And a free kick has been given. Scott Marshall and Gilles Grimondi are forward, the two centre backs. Instead, it's Paul Morte. And there was an early chance there for Scott Marshall. Scottish under-21 international centre-back had a little bit more space than he might have anticipated. Even without Bergkamp and Overmars and Vieira, there are half a dozen Arsene Wenger signings in tonight's team, five of them from outside of the United Kingdom. One by Vanazza. This is Ray. David Platt had made inroads into the box. Ray rather lost his way. Mendes. One back well, though, by Hughes. This is Mendes. And now space for Stephen Hughes. Jabbed into the path of Ball Morte. Good defending. It's Darren Wassel who got across in front of his goalkeeper, but Birmingham City were opened up for a moment. A little bit of concern over an injury to Stephen Hughes there, who was caught in that challenge. Paul Morte eventually smothered by the combined attentions of Wassel and Bennett. <laughs> Trevor Francis with his uh, hand to his mouth and on his left, Mick Mills, his assistant. Now Robinson. And Love just trying to help it on. It was caught there by Marshall. There'll be a yellow card for the Arsenal centre-back. <laughs> Missed time, challenge from behind. Usually mean just one thing these days. <laughs> Left-footed Martin Granger has gone across to take the free kick. Steve Bruce has made a late run into the Arsenal box and it's Launched towards Bruce, who's won it. 
helped on by Unlove, and Lee Dixon managed to scramble it away, only as far as Hay, and Birmingham City take the lead at Highbury. Tony Hayes' first goal for the club. He was the incursion of Steve Bruce into the Arsenal penalty area, which rather unhinged them. Lee Dixon couldn't quite make a clearance under pressure. It came to him rather sharply. But Tony Hay, the German, signed on the recommendation of Tony Woodcock in the summer, struck his shot superbly well. Good control with the chest, and despite the little nudge in the back, a really sweet strike into the corner of the net. May have been a slight deflection on the shot. Now Peter Unlove. Dave Robinson a lot to do. Hughes got in the challenge. Platt's got it back, and he's got a little bit of space here. And an option to his right with Mendes making up the ground. Platt's in space inside of him, it's Mendes. And now Platt and Mendes will take it himself. Well, it's a good save by Bennett. But you just wonder whether if Alberto Mendes had let that run for David Platt, maybe if Bennett would have had any kind of a chance. Two naturally right-footed players, and it was on plus right, and he had to bite his knuckles there to stop himself complaining. Hughes just slipped there. Nice to recover, and also do have a free kick. Half an hour played. Morte beaten to it in the air. This is Ray. On towards Bor Morte from Mendes. Chance for the Portuguese player. The challenge from Granger was perfect. Had to be. Not only would it have been a penalty, I think it would have been the end of Martin Granger's evening if he got that wrong. But he didn't. He got it dead right. was looking what he was going to do with it before he had it and Holland intercepted but he and Devlin didn't quite get their act together and then a foul on Hay by Marshall conceded the free kick to Birmingham number three Granger would be the favourite from this side he's naturally left footed Martin Granger it is oh it's a good one just clipped the top of the crossbar Dipping and swinging from the left boot of Martin Granger. And just didn't quite dip enough. I don't think there's much the keeper would have been able to do about it had it done. He was groping for the ball. Nicked by Ball Morte for Ray. And now Hughes. Good strike for the kick. Stephen Hughes just had a moment to set himself there. And it was on target, in fact, clipped off Gary Ablett and was deflected wide. Alberto Mendes will take the corner. Ray trying something spectacular, Granger, uh, no nonsense on a clearance. Christopher Ray, Luis Bormorte, holding off Bruce this time, that takes some doing. Couldn't hold off Hay, but he has won a free kick. The second half more open. More questions being asked of both defences. Well, Walter was looking for Pat at the near post. O'Connor was the defender. Corner which Mendes will take. Headed 
by Bruce, inevitably. Mendes again. Bruce again for Morte, though. Yes! Oh, that was a screamer from Luis for Morte. And the 20 year old Portuguese player has scored a memorable first goal for Arsenal. Bruce's header away was firm enough for Morte's control, effortless. Oh, what a lovely volley. Well, he has been mistaken, free and right, by a lot of autograph hunters. And the similarity ran through to his goal scoring there, his first for Arsenal. Now in love. Oh, it's a loose ball from Grimondi, and here's Devlin. It's Paul Devlin. Well, Jules Grimondi will be very relieved. Paul Devlin, very disappointed, more disappointed than he's showing. Pass gave Dixon no chance. Devlin did well to turn past the Arsenal captain, but then fire past Manninger's relatively unguarded goal. Smooth running action. David Platt got back there. Hopped on by Bonazza. Now Ray. Bormose running ahead of him. With Mendes to his right. It's still Christopher Ray. Oh! Well, the two colleagues either side of him were screaming at Ray to release the ball. Uh, he seemed to know what he was doing, and eventually he bought a little bit of space for himself. And his left-footed shot just clipped the crossbar on its way to Birmingham safety. Strongly built like his cousin George Ware. Or Morte, though. And Russell just stood in his way. Well, Darren Russell's been shown a yellow card already. And I think his night is coming to an end here. Uri Rennie just checking his maths. And I think you'll find that number two is already in his notebook. Seems almost reluctant to do it, but two yellows equal one red. And Darren Russell is off. He was wrong footed by Paul Morte, and he just obstructed him. Can Arsenal make their numerical advantage pay? Mendes. Oh! It's a real daisy cutter from Alberto Mendes. Uh, the pitch is so slick and quick, it seemed to pick up pace after it left his foot. Actually, just the one bounce on the way through. Whatever the rights and wrongs of it. The uh, Coca Cola Cup has certainly introduced one or two new names to Arsenal fans tonight and so far they've been up to the challenge from one of the best six sides in the first division but here's Peter and love three in support of love Robinson arriving late almost too much momentum as he uh, delayed his arrival on the scene to try and connect with Unlove's cross couldn't control the header. Referee giving it every chance. Dixon. Ray couldn't reach up. And that is the last action of the 90 minutes. And under the new format for the Coca-Cola Cup this season, extra time follows. And if there's no decision at the end of that, we will have a penalty shootout tonight. 1-1. One, one. Birmingham City won this competition in its formative years. Terry Hennessy and Jimmy Bloomfield were in the team that won the 1963 League Cup. 
They were semi-finalists just two seasons ago, losing to Leeds United. They're in front for a long time tonight. Mendes for Arsenal. Testing Benny out of the near post. Ray might keep the chance alive. Way by Granger. And as far as the new man Crow, and he fought O'Connor with his very first touch. And Jason Crow, who played for England in the World Youth Championships in Malaysia in the summer with the likes of Michael Owen and Danny Murphy, is I think going to be shown a yellow card within a minute of the start of his senior career. Referee just checking on the well being of O'Connor. <laughs> was raised it was late he's red he's off well that is sensational and that is also very harsh in my opinion well Jason Crow one minute into his senior football career sent off and it's ten aside he did play in the first team in a couple of pre-season games but this was his big chance tonight and it's over before it started from Upson. This is Hughes. Strong play from Stephen Hughes. Fought into the path of Paul Morte. Goalkeeper committed. Oh, hit a post. Might still come for Mendes. But Paul Morte is so close there to his second of the night. In by Mendes towards Ray this time. Here's Paul Morte again. Stephen Hughes. Ray. Pass the defender. Alberto Mendes though for Arsenal. Four in the box. Towards Ray. If anything, he got it for Mortis way. And the danger passes for Birmingham City. But danger it was as Hughes played for Morte in. And his cross shot. Fall against the post. And unfortunate not to bounce back closer to Ray. Here's Paul Morte again. Still he goes down, he goes, Bruce's foul, penalty. He has some skill, doesn't he? Luis Bormorte, a trick too many for Steve Bruce, whose challenge was marginally late, and who has conceded a penalty from which Arsenal now have a chance to go in front for the first time on the evening. Bormorte just checking with Ray who should take it and between them they nominate David Platt we've had nine minutes for the first period of extra time it's David Platt it's 2-1 to Arsenal the Premiership side in a rather different guys tonight take the lead for the first time on the night David Platt sending he invented the wrong way and benefiting from the skill and flair of Luis Spormonte Robinson is onside here, and he's won a corner kick from Grimondi. Rachel will take the corner. Francis is there! Oh, hit the crossbar! And turned behind by Grimondi. And the massive presence of Kevin Francis almost felt immediately within three minutes of his arrival he's hit the woodwork towards Johnson this time Mendes trying to run it out of trouble he's done well he's got support here it's Alberto Mendes and now Luis Bormorte 3-1 Standing natural talent on view, and Luis Bormorte has surely sewn up a victory for this young and relatively unknown Arsenal team. 
classic counter played in by Alberto Mendes and although I think the goalkeeper just got a touch Bormote took the chance very coolly it's come within three minutes of the resumption of extra time and that could be game set and match to Arsenal well on top four more time Holland trying to keep an eye on the ball ball more towards Ray the night is going to depart a little early Jihad Montassa is the man coming on but it's the man going off Luis Bormorte who will attract the um, attention been the star of the show, Luis Bormorte, two goals and a penalty one, Steve Bruce giving him a rather dirty look as he departs, but most of Highbury applauding the efforts of a young Portuguese player, brimming with talent. Robinson. Here's the newcomer Montassa. Instead, it's Ray. did what he felt he had to do and his faith in his second string has been rewarded by eventually a very comfortable passage into the fourth round Luis Bormorte there with star billing but around him the likes of Alberto Mendes, Matthew Upson and Christopher Ray made their impressions too and it was all too much for one of the better sides in the football league Birmingham City beaten by four goals to one 
on a night when several Arsenal players came of age and when my boys disappeared altogether. Apart from the result, what pleased you most tonight? The spirit of uh, it was a real Arsenal game. We were one nil down, uh, they didn't give up and uh, tried always to play good football. Of course, we had made some uh, mistakes you make when you have young players in the team, but overall they, we have shown some great moments in the game. Scored four goals, never gave up and uh, at the end I'm very pleased with what they did tonight. Well, we knew that um, you know, by throwing men forward, um, you know, we lost a little bit of our discipline, but we had to. You know, there was no point in going out the competition 2-1. You know, it was either going to be 2-1 or perhaps 4-5. or five. And, uh, you know, we kept going. And, uh, as you say, the scoreline is a little bit hard on my boys. Yeah, probably right there, Trevor. I think he was. Yeah. Now, David, everybody keeps talking about Arsenal reserves out tonight, but it did cost about £10 million. <laughs> yeah, quite cheap, though, weren't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> but it's shown what it has shown is Arsene Wenger, this strength in depth. I mean, yeah. you've been there since about uh, 91 or so, haven't you? Yeah. 1991. Yeah. Uh, you've not always had that. No, we haven't. No, I think this is like one of the strongest squads that we've ever had. You know, like we've won quite a few trophies before that, but you know, like you say, this is we've got strength in depth. You know, and, and a lot of young players that are coming through that are doing the stuff. Do you think the decision tonight? Do you think it's right? I mean, do you think it's fair? I know, I know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know, it gives me a night off, um, and I'm sure a lot of the players will agree with that as well. The first 20 minutes was interesting because it just looked like the Arsenal first team, the style, that's something yeah, else exactly. that he's got into them. Yeah, it's nice to see, you know, like that they're taking things in on th off the training pitch, you know, they're watching the first team and they're taking it onto the pitch when they get their chance. The, the one thing it did tonight, though, it provided the Arsenal fans with a real new star, didn't mm, it? Yeah. Ian Wright, Mark II. <laughs> Mark II, yeah. You know, even the fans are singing Ian Wright, right, right when he's scoring yeah. his goals. Lewis Boamorte, this is, this is his equalising goal. Terrific. Yeah. It's a good outward header, and then he gets a great chest on it, controls it nicely, and bang. You know, he's got a great left foot. You know, I've seen that quite a few times in the training ground, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Now, Stephen Hughes put him through. Um, yeah, it's beautiful a, ball through it's from Stephen. Great Steven. balls by Hughes. He just slots it down. And, and just runs onto it. And he, I think this is one where he eats the post, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah, just a little yeah, unlucky, just wasn't it? By the goal in. It was really unlucky. And then, and then on the penalty, David, I mean, he, he's not scared to take people on. I think he takes on two or three. Yeah, it, you know, he, he's quick, he's got a great shot, he's got tricky feet as well, as we can see here. And uh, I think it's Steve Bruce lifts his leg and over he goes, and it's a pen. Mm. And, and uh, David Platt scored, and then he capped it all, Luis Beaumarte with a third. Alberto, yeah, Alberto Mendes. threaded it through there. He was just holding his run to keep himself on side. And uh, he's looking at the goalkeeper there, you know, and he's, he's side footed it, picked his spot, and the goal's got a touch on it, but it's still going in the corner. People got to remember how young he is, how many of the side tonight, how, how young they are. Yeah, exactly, you know, and it just, just shows it's going to be good for Arsenal in the future. A, a lot of folks will have forgotten that Birmingham City was <laughs> one of your clubs along the route. Yeah, wasn't it? a long, long time ago as well, yeah. You know, I had a great time there, you know, and I've been back since, and they give me a great reception as well. Do you think, do you think that's where your career really started to take Yeah, up? I think that's when I started hitting the big time. You know, it was with Peterborough before that, uh, and when I moved up there, I knew that, you know, this was the real stuff. Yeah. Okay.